I'm going to show you how to connect your Google site with your domain. So if you have a Google Workspace account, which is the Google Business account, go to sites.google.com and open the site that you want to publish. I have a simple website over here with a simple cover image as well as two text boxes. We'll use this as a test to publish your website. So on the top right, click Publish. Enter the name for your web address. For who can view my website, currently it's set for anyone within your organization. Click Manage. And then under Publish Site, select the drop down and then select Public. Then click Done. Make note of this web address. I'm going to copy this. We're going to use this to point to our domain. And another thing, you should see search settings over here. You can check the box if you don't want Google to index your website. Or leave it unchecked so it shows up when you Google it. Now click Publish. We can test our websites to see if it works. I'm going to open it in incognito mode and then paste that link that I copied. And currently it works. So now let's point it to our domain. My domain is macguides.ca. So if I type in that domain, nothing is pointing to that website. To fix that, go to your admin console by going to admin.google.com. And then on the left side, click Accounts, and then look for Manage Domains. Now look for your domain, and you should see Change Redirect. Select that. On this setting, we'll make sure that when someone types macites.ca, it should automatically forward to www.macites.ca. So put www on this field and then click Save. To make sure that works, we'll need to modify our DNS setting on our domain. We'll need to log into our domain provider and then create an A record and then add these IP addresses. My domain is currently under Google Domains. But if you have other domain provider, the instructions here are similar. So I'm going to log into my Google domain. And then select My Domains. Look for the domain that you want to modify the DNS record. And then click Manage. Look for DNS settings for Google Domains. It's called DNS. And here's where we're going to add that A record. So I'm going to copy the IP address from our Google Workspace. I'm going to copy the first one. For hostname, leave it blank. But if it won't let you, put the add symbol. For type, select A. For TTL, leave it at 3600. And then for data, that's where you want to put the IP address. Then click add more to this record because we need to add all the IP addresses. So I'm just going to copy all these and then paste all the values. And then click Save. Every time you modify your DNS settings, they may sometimes take 15 minutes to 48 hours to take effect. Now go back to your admin console and then click I've completed these steps. Next, under your Admin Workspace Console, go to Apps, and then look for Sites. And then scroll on the bottom, you should see Custom URL. Click the drop-down, or that whole box right there. If you have other Google Sites, it should show up over here. But in this case, we don't have any, so let's click Plus. And it's a new site, so click Continue. This is where we want to paste that Google site URL. To get the link, go to your site and click the Link button. And then copy this whole thing. Then you want to paste the web address here. 
remove the slash home as well as the HTTPS in the beginning. This is the format that you want to follow. Then click continue. Choose a custom URL. Um, we want this under www. So select it and then add www. And then click continue. Now we need to add another DNS record. So similar to the A record that we created, now we need to create a C name. So what we need to do is log into our domain provider, locate the domain and the DNS management settings, add a C name, and add this value. So I'm going to copy this. And then go back to our domain provider. We're still in our DNS setting. So we want to click Manage Custom Records and then create a new record. For hostname, we want to put www on this. And then for type, we want to select CNAME. For TTL, leave it at 3600. And for data or value, this is where you want to put the web address that we copied. Now click Save. Similar to the A record, it may take 50 minutes to 48 hours for it to take effect. Now go, go back to your admin console and click Add Custom URL. So this will be pending. We need to wait until this actually take effect. If it works properly, you should be able to type your domain and then your domain should show up with your Google site. If you were able to follow those steps, please let me know by clicking the like button. I've already waited a few hours. So if I type macas.ca, without the www, this thing will pop up over here. If you are like me and your domain is under Google Domains and you want to change your domain provider, the next one you want to watch is this. I'll show you how to move your domains to Cloudflare. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if you find this helpful. Have a great day.